Welcome to a special edition of Oar Down the Shore. In the next half hour, we are going to visit some of our favorite shore towns. Let's start in Ocean City. It's gorgeous, that May sunshine really working on us today. And it's busy, like there's a lot of people around. I mean, we have officers on bikes patrolling the boardwalk. Everybody's just getting out. Of course, all the college kids are out. Some of the high school kids are out. So we are ready for the summer of 2023. Why not? And a lot of changes down the shore and a lot of improvements. I want to introduce you to the Ocean City Walking Club. Hello, Ocean City Walking Club. Where's our spokesperson? Okay, tell us, Lisa, what is the club? What are we doing here? It's the Ocean City Walking Club, and we meet every Friday morning, um, 8 o'clock in May, 9 o'clock in June, July, and August in front of the Music Pier, and we talk, we walk, we get to know and build community. So if you want to come down the shore this summer, if you're down for the day or the week, how do you join the club? You just show up? You just show up at the Music Pier, 8 a.m. Okay. Friday mornings, and then right we walk. here, and we walk and we talk. All right, we're going to walk and talk. All right. All right, guys, we'll be back. We'll see you later in the broadcast. We're going to go walk. Here in Ocean City, we want to show you what we love about Ocean City. And one of the things we love about this family resort, aside from the beach and the boardwalk, is the food. So we're going to give you a quick round robin of our favorite things. First, we have Johnson's Popcorn since uh, 1940. 1940. Now, let me tell you about this. I know other places have caramel corn, but this is the best and I'm gonna send you guys at Fox Weather one of these been around for a very long time and if you keep your tub what happens uh, you can get a refill for a discount oh refill discount we love that thank you so much then we have George's fudge but George's is much more than fudge what do yeah. we have here we have macaroons we have fudge obviously we have macarons the French version we have uh, homemade candy chocolate covered pretzels we also make our own ice cream we've been doing so for 50 years for the ice cream 70 for the candy and 21 for our restaurant and that's that's a that's a that's a brick a brick is a technical term that's not a pound <laughs> like you and I buy that's a brick yeah. all right thank you so much then we have Shrivers, which is an institution corner spot here on the boardwalk, and you are third generation. Third generation, yeah. and this year will be our 125th year. Oh, wow, happy anniversary. Thank you. So Thank show you. us some of the highlights here. So of course our saltwater taffy yes. and our fudge. We also have homemade Irish potatoes, and we have a lot of souvenirs. We have our mint sticks. Um, Something for everyone. And Mr. Mr. Taffy, Taffy. The birth of Mr. Taffy he, book. He even has a book. If you're like me, when the kids were little, 5 a.m., 6 a.m., I'm strolling the baby, you know, to keep the baby asleep. But there's a line outside of Brown's Donuts. Yes, Only open in the morning. Yeah, we're open 7 to 4 this weekend. So, oh, 7 to yeah, 4 7 this to 4 weekend. Yep, okay. Yep, and these are, awesome. these are our homemade donuts. Homemade donuts. And it's very simple. There's chocolate, there's vanilla, there's cinnamon sugar, there's powdered, and there's honey and plain. So what makes it an institution? Because the line is down the boardwalk in the morning. I think it's because it's, we're, we've been here, this is our 47th year. Yeah. This, we're the second generation, third generation, and it's all homemade. And this is a recipe that my in-laws came up with back in 1976, and we've stuck to it every year since. And everybody loves it. Yeah. I want to bring in our mayor of Ocean City, Jay Gillian. Hey, mayor. Hi, how are you? Thanks nice for coming you. out. Anytime. You know, I think the last time we talked was coming out of COVID. Yeah. Or maybe it was even right on the Try to forget about out. that time. Yeah. <laughs> so. What do you expect this summer? You know, Ocean City is unique. Um, no matter what, even with during COVID, you know, we seem to do well. We have the traditions. We have the family. I mean, nothing's better than Ocean City. It, I'll tell you, it looks, it looks really great. It's so exciting, and I it think is. this is the year, like we always say, the revenge vacation year. I mean, I think everybody's not going to waste any time no, this year. No, no. They've been doing it, and again, we have so much to offer here, which is spectacular. We have the rides. Trust. We have rides. We have the beach, the bay. You have the downtown. I mean, we're like Disney World, and that's and I keep saying that everyone makes fun of us, but we are. We have that family wholesomeness, and we have so many things. There's nothing you can't. We have a golf course, an airport. We have everything here, so it's really nice. Yeah, and it's only an hour and 15 minutes from Philadelphia. I clocked that's it. That's how you drive. <laughs> yeah, it could be. It could be 50 minutes, but it we won't be. mention that. No, 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 Listen, no. thank you so thank much. You. Good luck Good on luck. a great, have a great season. season. I know. I'll, no, I'll be seeing you. I want to show you a quick tour of what's going on here new on the promenade in Cape May. Remember the old Morrow's Nut House? Well, now we have Core Brothers ice cream. We have Ainsley Rose Boutique. 
for children and adults. And of course, Asian sliders, that's a good one as well. But one of my favorites is down here. It is the original fudge kitchen, open all year round. And you can even send this home to your relatives. Actually, I have relatives moving across the pond, so maybe I can send some. This is Jim McHugh. Jim is just about ready here. Look what he's up to, making some fudge, vanilla fudge, right? Yep, vanilla nut. How many times do you have to do that, Jim, to get a good batch? Uh, we do about three different methods, 30 times each, three rounds. So what's that, 90, 92, 70 strokes in each batch? Wow. Well, Jim, we're going to take some extra to bring back to the station. We know it's time to get him into the containers there and eat some fudge. It's that time of year, guys. We are with a bunch of friends that are surfing today. So I want you to meet my friend, Jason. This is Jason Reagan. He is from Cape May. He is living the dream, right? Lived here your whole life. That's I always say you live on vacation. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I live at the uh, beach all year round, so can't really beat it. It's awesome. So yeah. tell us what everybody's doing out here today. Obviously, they're surfing, but this is what you guys live for. This is a, a, a good day. Yeah, so we have some, like, northeast wind, and that kind of makes the waves, uh, you know, Know, bump up here in Cape May and keeps it clean and yeah it's good for all the surfers and we live for it yeah it's awesome so you're looking at the weather all the time too yeah we're uh, we're meteorologists by trade being surfers so yeah we're uh, we know the weather pretty well as surfers absolutely what's interesting is a lot of people think oh it's East Coast surfing you don't get very big waves but sometimes we do and I know you guys like the fact that hurricane season is beginning today yeah I mean East Coasters we live for the storms and honestly uh, when we get waves they're world-class so so we can compare them with anywhere in the world, especially in New Jersey. So yeah, it's it's uh, it's definitely uh, nice to be an East Coaster. Okay, N another question for you. I know when it's warmer, I'm coming back. We'll do a surf lesson. Yes, okay. Let's do that. But if people come down for vacation, they're like, oh, I'm in surfed. I'm nervous, or maybe I'm you know, I'm over 30. Right. Should they be worried? No, not at all. So I teach all ages, all abilities, all shapes and sizes. Um, I'm in super shallow water and it's in a controlled environment. I make sure the waves are small when I teach. Yeah. And uh, yeah, my percentage is pretty high, so I'll get you up and riding for sure. All right. I know you guys are watching your sons that are out there. Uh, what are you doing? We're having happy hour on the beach. Oh, beautiful, beautiful day. Beautiful How afternoon. lovely. Yeah. And you have your crystal. Yeah, well, it's actually dollars. Okay, yeah, yeah, you, yeah you know, you're very, you know. you're doing well. No glass on the beach. Well, listen, enjoy, ladies. Sheba, I don't know. How about we come and join them for happy hour sometime? In Cape May, one of my favorite places with a lot of childhood memories. We're here at Harry's Bar and Grill. We're at the corner of Beach and Madison. Of course, the beach to my left, which is gorgeous today with some folks out on the beach. And to my right, I have this lovely girl here. This is Olivia Suarez. Olivia, you guys have some great food. And of course, I'm looking at all the seafood and it looks delicious. Tell everybody at home when they come down what they can have. Certainly, so right here we have our pan-seared scallops on top of a bed of risotto, Parmesan risotto with asparagus and a balsamic glaze. Over here we have our Cape May salts with a mignonette sauce. And then over here we have our, I know, <laughs> we have our Cape Chipino. So we have mussels, clams, and um, shrimp in a, and scallops in a tomato white wine broth. I can smell that, that yes, smells delicious. Yes, awesome, and garlic bread of course. Um, we also have our crab cake sandwich over here with lettuce, tomato, onion, parmesan truffle fries. I'm stealing one. They're okay, the best. <laughs> um, we have our a, uh, Cape May IPA fried and beer battered cod and then we have our eight ounce burger with lettuce, tomato, onion, parmesan truffle fries again and then over here more fried food but calamari with a um, cherry pepper tomatoes in there and then also our um, marinara sauce and a Thai chili sauce. So we like a little Zing. I'm going to give you this yes. because we have to wrap like it up. <laughs> Orange crush. And what do you have there? I have the muddled blueberry um, rum. Fabulous. Here's to summer. Cheers. Mm. We're coming down, guys. We're going to have I a don't... road trip. These guys, these guys are friends of Bob Kelly. Do you want to say hi to Bob? Hey, Bob. Oh, how right. you doing? Yeah. Good to see you guys. Are you guys having fun in the sun today? Having a good time? Oh, yeah. 100%. Having a nice drink? Getting ready for summer? Yeah. Yeah. It's a big crowd today down the shore. Here we're on the bay at the Surfing Pig. We're going to show you all the great food and show you a great business idea that we haven't heard of yet down the shore. 
We're having so much fun here on the bay in North Wildwood. The surfing pig is the place, and everybody's making friends. We have Westchester, Glenmore, Royersford in the house. And you want to do a shout out to veterans because you're a veteran yes, yourself. I, I just want to say, go Birds USA. Let's All go. All right. All right. Excellent. Thank you for your service. Thank you. We're going to show you what's going on this weekend because we do have some storms to talk about. Go ahead, guys. Enjoy your dinner. There's some, here's my captive audience over here. We have some great food here at the Surfing Pig. I'm joined by the owner, Bill. Bill, this is awesome. Tell me what we have here. Kathy, thank you for coming. So we have, uh, we make everything from scratch here, but this is our Cobb salad. It's one of our heartiest salads and most popular. Over here we have our ahi tuna nachos. So this is sushi grade tuna over top of homemade wontons with a sriracha and one or a, a swatcha, sriracha and wasabi aioli listen we're really well known for our barbecue these are our ribs we do all of our barbecue here on site it's legit real smoked barbecue uh, these ribs sit for about five hours in our smoker these are st louis ribs homemade um, homemade cornbread homemade mac and cheese and these are our jersey shore mussels and these are all popular items. So we got plenty more on the menu. Oh, you have a lot on the menu. Great drinks as well. I want you to tell the story, because we don't have a lot of time, but you've known the Jersey Shore for a long time. Tell me about your family. I have. Well, my wife, uh, her family has literally grown up here in the summers. They've owned a house in West Wildwood since 1917. So you came back, bought this place, redid it, and now it's just, it's packed. When you marry into a family that's been here for over 100 years, you have very little choice on where you end up you can't so this is where we are and, and we love it I, you know what and we love that you love it and you did this for all of us so thank you so much thank you Kathy. great food great view i mean you can't beat it here on the bay we are here on the water now, the bay in North Wildwood, and I'm with Joe Gratz. He is the owner of Sandbar Joe's, and you have a business that we haven't heard about here on the Jersey Shore. Tell everybody about it. How about that? We sell hot dogs, we do walk-in tacos, so Sandbar Joe's, we're a floating food boat. Okay. We're the only in Cape May County. Um, and we do the beach on Saturdays and Sundays. Fantastic. Here in Wildwood. Here in North Wildwood. Okay. And we do Stone Harbor as well, the back bays on like 96th Street. We also go up to um, the Inlet Beach on First behind the Inlet Bar and Flip Flops. So how does it work? Like you pull the boat up yeah. and then obviously people see you. Who wants a hot dog? Walking tacos, loaded dogs, we got it all. And that's the spiel. That's the spiel. Okay. Ice cold Pepsi. So instead of a food truck, you're a boat truck. I'm a boat truck. Or like when they ring for the ice cream. Yes. You pull up by the water. You know. All right, let's make some food. All right. Okay. So we're doing walk-in tacos first. We've okay. We've got a, a classic Doritos bag, some meat. We've got our cheddar cheese, okay. America's favorite snack. So we can throw in some lettuce. If okay, you this will be for me, so I'll touch it with my hand. Perfect. Okay. Are you a sour cream enthusiast? I am a sour cream right. enthusiast. Dairy for days, right? There you go. Awesome. And then, uh, let's see, is that hot sauce? Hot sauce. A little yes. Tabasco. Fabulous. A little Sriracha Life. Okay. Adds to the taco. All right. And, and then, then we will fork you up. Excellent. And I'll hold it if you want to take a bite. Sure, I'll take a bite. First bite for camera, I'm not afraid. Right? We love doing that. <laughs> All right, let's try it because I, sure. I hope it's not too hot. But so this is our second season in business. I'm a mobile retail mm -hmm. food establishment, mm -hmm. so official from the state of New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And should we do a hot dog too? Yeah, let's do a hot dog. Are we a loaded dog or just a classic with mustard? You know what? I don't eat mustard. Okay. You know how I like my dogs plain. No nope. I'm just happy with that right there. How about that? All right. I'm so. very. I'm a simple order. Simple order. I love. So that. how do people pay you? Do they so Venmo? So we take Venmo. Okay. We love cash cash is king right sure absolutely <laughs> all right well that works for me you'll be yeah. out this weekend we will so look for sandbar joe's i mean this is the best idea dude it's the perfect father's day food right it's fantastic everybody likes a hot dog the beach the bay boats life's a it. beach all right sandbar joe's you can follow on instagram as well i just did these dog days of summer there's one thing you always want what is it leo ice cream ice cream so we're here at the big dipper ice cream shakes you name it they have it introduce everybody this is madison who's 14th birthdays today happy birthday my son aiden my nephew luke 
my daughter Erin, my mother-in-law Margie. Great mother-in-law. My wife back here, Christy. Hi, Christy. All right, what are we making today? So we're going to make a cotton candy explosion. It's a kid's favorite. Uh, it's a lot of sugar. Starts off with two scoops of any ice cream you want. We're choosing Superman today because it's red, white, and blue. So we're starting with the Superman red, white, and blue ice cream. We got two big scoops of ice cream. And then after Aiden gets those two big scoops on there, we top it off with some other fun candy. You get a ring pop, which Aaron's gonna put the ring pop on, and then Luke is gonna finish it off with a couple little pieces of candy. Wow, good job, you so guys. So we'll put those right on there. Okay. And then we have some other options too that, that are red, white, and blue this weekend. Oh, let's take a look at these. So we have our red, white, and blue stick, which is a fan favorite. Yeah, there All you right. go. We got the water ice, red, white, blue water ice, okay. red, white, and blue gelati. And the kids' favorite drink this summer, Prime, which is Ice Pop. And that's a favorite for all the kids this year. There's so not it's much a great sugar one. In there, is there? No, not much at all. <laughs> so we're filled with sugar here. All right. It's all delicious. Let's talk to the kids a little bit. What is the best part of this job? What is the best part? Go ahead. What's the best part? Best part, getting a lot of ice cream. Getting a lot of ice cream. And what are the rules about on the job? Do you uh, get to have anything on the job? Yes, you can have a scoop. And the topping on either cup or cone, no Sundays. No Sundays when yes. you're on the job. Wow, well, this is awesome. So nice to meet you guys. Happy birthday. And yeah. I think I've got a great assistant here. Why Sea Isle City? Family tradition. How many years have you been coming down? Lost count. <laughs> it's really, like, nice and peaceful here. And there's a lot of, like, shops to go in and look. Are you with your family? Um, no, we're just here for the day. Oh, yeah. great. So it's close to home. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where are you from? Uh, Vineland. Vineland. What's your name? Grant. Tell us about coming to Sea Isle City. We have fun. What's that? We have fun. You have fun. That's all it's about. Thank you guys so much. Here. How are you guys doing? Good. We're doing good. Tell us about what you have in store. Uh, great times at the beach, at the point, enjoying the uh, guitar play, everything. Just good times, good people. With family. With family. That's yeah. what it's all about, right? Yeah. yeah. Delco in the house, lovely daughter. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, you know, everyone comes down to Sea Isle. It's just a great time. Everyone gets together, family time, and that's what it's about at the end of the day. And great weather, great place to be, good drinks. So we're having a great time. I have to give a shout out to Delco because I think we have a, a large population here from there. Are you guys ready for the holiday weekend? We're so ready, yes! Yeah. No work today. No work today, no. No work tomorrow. No work tomorrow. All right. I want to be friends with them. And these guys are from Delco. We're going to give oh, a Delco shout Delco. out. Clifton all day. All right. That's it. And this gentleman came all the way from? Uh, all the way from Asbury Park, Avon by the Sea. Yes, but you'd rather be here, right? Absolutely, you'd rather be here, especially when I heard you were here. I said I definitely wanted to come. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> I want to introduce you to Scott Roach. This is an awesome location. Beautiful. Thank you so much. This is our third season being open, and we're doing fantastic here in Sea Isle. I feel like I'm in a Hawaiian paradise. Now, show us what we have to eat. Right here, we have our Polynesian chicken skewers, one of our great appetizers for a great share. And then also over here, we have our crispy shrimp and mango, another one of our great share appetizers. Right here, we have the sneaky monkey drink, and one of our favorites, of course, the orange crusher. Looks fabulous. Well, thank you so much. And these guys guys came all the way from Dallas. Their grandfather has a place here. We like you even though you're from Dallas. Yes. We appreciate it. Having a good time? The weather's fantastic here. That's great. All right. Maybe Thanks. they'll be moving back. I hope you've enjoyed the show. If you have a favorite spot you'd like us to highlight, just reach out through social media. I'm Kathy Orr. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you down the shore.